support of this storm Mary has moved across the country today from west to east but where I am right now on the North Devon coast it's not quite finished yet. It felt like we're in a bit of a sandstorm this afternoon as the wind still strong enough to lift the sand off the bay and throw it onto the land. The weather warnings have moved from red to amber throughout the course of the day and people here are certainly hoping that that means that the storm has done its worst. Storm Eunice crashed into the southwestern edges of the United Kingdom at around the time its people would have been going to work. Most of them had wisely chosen to stay at home. Some, though, ventured out onto the harbour walls to get a close look as the sea raged against the shore. Don't leave home unless you have to, was the advice from the emergency services. So the motorways near the coast at rush hour were unusually quiet, but on the M4 near Swansea, a frightening example of what can happen on the road in a storm. Keep watching the lorry. Luckily, its driver was unhurt. In the southwest of England, people filmed trees they'd been driving oh. past for a lifetime being felled. Oh my God, I caught that on video. This one in Cornwall. And this one snapped in Wiltshire. In Somerset, even a church spire wasn't spared. It fell off. One man in Ireland was killed by a falling tree this morning, and a woman in Henley was badly injured by debris. Here in England's southwestern counties, though, survivors spoke of narrow escapes from trees coming down. And suddenly it came towards me, and I thought it was going to kill me. Uh, but instead it crashed and just hit the gate. Um, and I thought, oh my God, my car is underneath it. Yeah. Journeys made by other means oh, man, weren't easy. Sing right, sing right, sing right. The skills of the pilots were tested by the wind at Heathrow, oh. and train timetables, which weren't cancelled completely, were severely disrupted here in Banbury by a roof on the line. From the western coasts, Eunice roared across the breadth of the UK to London, a city so often spared the worst weather, where parts of the canopy which covers the O2 Arena were ripped away. It's low tide here, but you can see the waves crashing in for miles along this stretch of coastline. The sea's getting churned up and that powerful wind just feels relentless. That wind and sometimes the walls it pushed over made power supplies flicker and then fail completely. In this village in Devon, a candle lit tea shop opened its doors to help families stuck in cold homes. Not ideal, really, when they you know, want something to eat and they want it now. So, uh, yeah, that's why we've come out, because uh, they just you know, can't heat anything up. Well, you nearly blew away just then, didn't you? Yeah. You tried to get in the car. <laughs> On the coasts where the storm arrived, the winds eased slightly, but kept up. Throughout this long day, Eunice has held this land in its powerful grasp. Geraint Vincent, ITV News.